Boys and girls, welcome to Reading and Writing today. It is Tuesday, and we are going to get started. Here we go. Boys and girls, it's Tuesday. We're celebrating. We made it through Monday. Now we're on Tuesday. Our choices today. We will have If Animals Dance and Can't Stop Feeling. And I'll be spinning to find a name. So if we're sitting and following directions, we will be doing that. Here we go. We're going to do our phonemic awareness. You need to listen, say it. When we get to tapping or chunking it, you need to do that as well. All right. What we're going to do is go on to our phonics lesson. And you're going to say everything with me. Please remember to keep your microphone on mute. In small groups, we unmute. All right, here we go. And we're sitting up. You're at school. I expect you to be sitting up like a kindergartner. Here we go. Get ready to say your ABCs with me. Eyes on me. Say it with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I should hear you. H, I. Ooh, look at your mouse go. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. I should see pencils down. We're not working on anything with a pencil right now. I should see hands in your lap, and I should see your eyes on me. Here we go. Eyes on me. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it a little bit faster. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good. These are our uppercase capital letters. Our names are very important, so we say that we write them with the capital letter. All right, put your eyes and ears on me. We're going to do some rhyming pairs, two words that rhyme. I say it, you say it. Here we go. Job, cob. You say it. Job, cob. And do they rhyme? Awesome. Here we go. Tap, lap. Tap, lap. We are on mute. Tap, lap. You say it. Tap, lap. My turn. When, then. <gasps> Guess what, Emma? You're right. I forgot to do that. Let's go back and do tap, lap. I forgot to do that they rhymed. Thank you, Emma, for reminding me. Here we go. You ready? I'll do it. Tap, lap. You do it. Tap, lap. They rhyme. Here we go. My turn. When, then. Your turn. When, then. Tell us, they rhyme. Move our hands. My turn. Hit, fit. Your turn. Let me hear you say it. Hit, fit. They rhyme. We get to move a little. Ooh, listen to this one. Much, such. Much, such. Your turn. Much, such. Good. They rhyme. Good job. Get ready for the sounds. Remember, we are on mute. If your parents need to speak to me, they will send me a message in the chat. Send me a message in the chat. Write the message in the chat. Okay, here we go. Get ready to count our sounds. Vroom. Beep. 
vroom, beep. Count them with me. Vroom, beep, vroom, beep. How many sounds do we hear? Four sounds. Very good. All right, here we go. We're going to, ooh, listen. There's a lots of beeps. You ready? Beep, beep, beep. Vroom, beep. Ooh, let's count those. Beep, beep, beep. Vroom, beep. How many sounds? Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five. And boys and girls, please remember, you're at your house. If you need to go to the restroom, thank you for asking, but you don't have to ask. Just quickly go to the restroom and come back, okay? But when we give you breaks, that's the time, okay? But if it's an emergency, then you go and you come straight back. All right, boys and girls, we did a good job on our sounds. Now it's time for our mystery letter. And I need people to keep themselves on mute. Stop playing with the microphone button. All right, here we go. Let's get ready. Hmm, Mrs. Renaud has a question mark above her head. I don't know what our mystery machine is going to show us what our mystery letter is. So, what we need to do is we need to find out what is the mystery letter. And when I'm thinking or asking a question, you use a question mark. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. What is our mystery letter? And that's why I have a question mark above my head. Here we go. I see a cat. Hmm, what's next? I see a cup. Say cup with me. Cup. I see a coat. Ooh, look at that pretty pink purplish coat. Ooh, what does cat, cup, and coat, what is the same about those? It is the letter C. Look at Mrs. Renaud in her beautiful car. Oh, look at the cute little cat. Boys and girls, when you go into your Google Classroom, you will be able to see this slide and you can read the book, listen to the videos, listen to this. If you go through your Clever account, which is under Student and Clever, you will see starfall.com. And moms and dads, if you have trouble getting through it through your Clever account, you can go to starfall.com by itself. And you can learn about every single letter. Okay, boys and girls, repeat after me. C says K. Make that sound. C says K. S says S. B says B. M says M. A says A. So what we're going to practice right now is writing our letter C's. So I am moving to the tabletop. You are gonna use your fingers. So here we go. I want your two magic fingers. Show me your two magic fingers. I have my two magic fingers right here. When I make a C, I'm gonna go between the dotted line and the skyline. See, it's my skyline. It has the cloud. And I'm going to start like I'm making a circle. And I'm going to go around. But when I come to that ground line, I'm going to go back up. That is a C. A lowercase c. I'm dotted line in below. In between the middle, if you want to put a dot to help, I go around and come back up. So a lowercase c, the lowercase c looks just like the capital C. Okay, put your magic fingers up and you're going to trace with me. You ready? Go around like you're making a circle and come back up. 
go around and make a circle like you're coming back up. All right, boys and girls, now is your time to make your letter C's. If you do not have your C paper with you, you can use your dry erase board to make your C's. Okay, so we're going to work on this together. Okay, so go get your C paper if you don't have it. You need to have a crayon or a pencil. Okay, here we go. We're going to get started. What we do is we trace over the top. That means we go right on top of the letter and we trace over it. It is very good practice. Practice making these capital C's with me. They are uppercase. You're going to hear them called big, uppercase, lowercase. Lowercase are the little letters. And I want you to go ahead and make your capital C's. Go ahead and practice tracing your capital C's. When you get to your lowercase C's, please stop. Okay, here we go. If you're not finished making your capital C's, don't worry because you can finish when you're off the computer. So watch me make the lowercase C's. So I'm going to start between the dotted line and the ground line and I'm going to go around. Now, boys and girls, please don't get frustrated. Like I said earlier, Mrs. Renaud has been writing for a very long, 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 long time. It takes practice, 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 okay? You're in kindergarten. So the more you practice, the better it'll go. Go around, around again, around again, Around again, around again, around again, and guess what? Around again. The more you practice, the better you'll be at it. All right, finish the C you're on and put your writing utensil, put your pencil, your crayon, whatever you're using, marker down. And I want to show you about your name. Okay. On your on the back of your dry erase board is your name this is where you use your dry erase marker parents and daycare providers and grandmas aunts uncles the adult with your the child in their blue binder I mean, in their black binder in the back, there's a blue laminated piece of paper that tells how to make the letters uppercase and lowercase. So that is what you're using to write your child's name. We are using all three lines. I will show you how to write my son's name and my daughter's name so you know. Also, adults, if you need to, you can pull out this name. You can write their name with the highlighter if they're having difficulty on their own slide it back in if these lines are too small you can also use the bigger lines in the back so when we're working on their line on their name we want to focus on the lines okay let me get mine back in 
Okay, so when I'm writing my son's Jacob's name, when I'm making a J, I'm going to go from the top to the bottom, curve around, put the top. Some people put the top on, some people don't. A, circle in my line. When we practice our A's, when we practice our A's, Remember, we put the line right next to it. My son Jacob has a C, a O, and a B. So we're trying to make it as neat as we can. Notice we only put the large uppercase letters at the beginning of the name. If your child does have an uppercase letter in the, towards the middle of their name, then make it uppercase. But it's very important the rest of the letters are lowercase. When I write my daughter's name, Autumn, I put A, U, I'm taking my time trying to make my letters on the line. The more we practice making our names neatly, the neater it will be. Now my friend's name, Jayon, I need you sitting and writing. Thank you, sir. My friend's name has a tail. So I'm going to show you what you do with a tail letter. That means it goes down to the, wor uh, the worm line. So my friend's name is Robin, and she spells it with a Y. So I would do my capital R, my, her O, her B. I would make her Y. Notice it goes down below, okay? We're not going to make our lowercase y like this. No, it's dotted line and below. So that's a no. So when we're practicing, this is why it's practicing, practice. We take our time. Okay, we take our time. So I want you right now to practice with your dry erase board writing your name. I'm going to write my name and in the count of three, uh, when we're done writing our name, I want you to show me what the name looks like. What your name looks like. So here we go. Mrs. Renaud's going to take her time and write her name. Remember, I've been writing for a very long time. You haven't. So just try your best. So try your best. And then I want to see your name. Okay. Okay. On the count of three, I want you to hold up your names. One, two, Three, show me your names. And if you're not done with your names, you can finish it. Oh, look at those wonderful names. Awesome. Good job. Look at your names. You're doing awesome. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. And let me show you what the round of applause. Go like this for yourself. You get a round of applause. Pat yourselves on the back. I am so proud of you. Good job. All right, boys and girls, erase. Put it to the side. And we're going to read a story about Pete the cat. And then we're going to write about Pete the cat. So let me get out my Pete the cat story. And it is about Pete the Cat and missing cupcakes because we're talking all about the letter C. So your job right now, this is all you need to do. You have three things I need for you to do. I need you to sit down, please, when you're done erasing. Put your eyes on me. Keep yourself quiet on mute so that you can hear our story about Pete the Cat. Here we go. So this is about Pete the Cat and the missing cupcakes. 
Oh my goodness, something happened to the cupcakes. Look at those delicious cupcakes. Here we go. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. <gasps> I n have never seen so many cupcakes in my life. Look at all those delicious cupcakes. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at 3. So I have some characters. I have Gus and I have Pete the Cat. Those are characters. Say that word. Characters. Say that word. Characters. Those are the people, animals, or creatures in a story. And the setting is where the story takes place. It's at his house. And I see some milk and flour. Let's continue reading. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. They had ten when they were done. Oh no, hang on. Some of the cupcakes, cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been ten. Let's count. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight <gasps> that means nine ten two are missing oh goodness pete said maybe we need to count again so they counted the cupcakes lined up straight now there were only eight it looked like someone had taken two but who pete and gus did not know what to do just then they found a clue gus said look what i found sprinkles Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Oh, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. This was way too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. Oh, look at the clue. They see footprints, or you would say animal tracks. Hmm, who has tracks like that? Let's find out. Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Hey, that's what we're doing. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Turtle said, it wasn't me, it couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. <gasps> Look at this clue. Let me show you this clue. <gasps> Look, someone's taking a cupcake. Who could it be? What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. Oh, goodness. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. Look at, I see sprinkles, and I see cupcake wrappers, and I see animal tracks. Who could it be? They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus had sawed the face. <gasps> Look at Toad. I am so sorry it was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate until there were none. Oh my goodness, Toad. Everyone agreed Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. Show me a happy dance. Yay, happy dance. The night of the party was so much fun, Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. 
Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. Yay. All right, boys and girls, I want you to take out your writing page. And we are going to practice writing. If you do not have this page, I want you to get your dry erase board and use that. I also, you need to use a pencil or a crayon. And remember, we're going to do our writing. When we're done and off the computer, you can finish your writing. Here we go. Okay, what we're going to do is write our name at the top. And I'm going to let you do that by yourself. But what I want you to do is I'm going to show you a cat face. And I'm going to use shapes. So I'm going to make a circle head. So put a circle head. We're going to make a cat. Put a circle head. Again, if you need to see me big, click on the rectangle with the three dots. Make some triangle ears. And if they're rounded ears, that's, ears, that's fine. Put a dot for one eye. Put a dot for two eyes. You can make a circle nose or you can make a triangle nose. Make some type of nose. Then for the mouth, I'm going to come down and make like a half a circle or some people would say a J. I know Jeremiah's saying, that looks like a J. Jayon's saying, that looks like a J. And then come back and make that shape on the other side. If you want to add whiskers, you can. And if you want to add a body later on, you can draw a round body. You can draw a tail and you can draw little feet because a cat has four feet and you can color it later. But what we're going to do today is we're going to write, I see a cat and we're going to practice saying the sounds. Here we go. And the word. So we've talked about I. So to make an I, I'm going to go straight down from that top line. I'm going to go across the top and across the bottom. Please make the word I. Please make the word I. Okay. Then we're going to write the word C. We've used the letter S. So make your S. Make your E, and the easy way to make an E, act like you're making a C, and then go across the middle. I'm writing my words on the lines. These are my spaces, so I can easily point to my words. I see A, so I'm going to make the letter A. Remember when you do that stick, try and get it as close to that circle as you can. If it's not that close, it's okay. Just keep practicing. That's all we can do is the more we practice, the better we will be at writing. Okay, I see a cat. <gasps> There's our letter C that goes K. Put that C. Put that A, try and get that line as close to that circle as you can. 
And then I'm going to make a T. When I make a T, I go start at the top, go down, and then I go across. And I'm done writing. So boys and girls, remember when we're done writing, put your period, put that dot that tells me I'm done. Okay, now I want you to read it with me. Point to your words. Ready? I see a cat. On the count of three, even if you're not done, it's okay. On the count of three, I want to see your beautiful writing. You ready? One, two, three. Show me what you have so far. If you're not finished, awesome. Look at that. If you're not finished, ooh, good job. If you're not finished, it's okay because you can finish it later. Good job, boys and girls. All right. So put your writing away and you can color it later. Let me show you what you're going to do today in uh, reading when we're off the computer. You're going to finish doing your letter C's on Pear Deck, www, 3 wspdjoincom I am sending out the code for your Pear Deck. I'll send that on Google uh, Class Dojo. On here, I want you to color the C's. If you cannot get Pear Deck or the code to work, just have your child point to the C's. Again, find the letter C's. Our class code and EPIC is YJR1781. You need to check, adults need to check their email. It was sent over the weekend to join um, epic. If not, you can go under the class code and log in as a guest. If you are logged into your Google Classroom, this is up and waiting for you. You get to play in the C room. Listen to all the videos. Listen to stories about C. And this is just your checklist to keep you in mind what to do. All right, boys and girls, we are going to get Boys and girls, we're going to get ready for math, so please go get your snap cubes and your number cards, and we'll be right back, and your number two page.